this last column, relative feed value. And you can't see it in the back of the room. The highest was 173. 173. Alfalfa is 173. So it's just as nutritious as alfalfa. But we have yield issues. We have other silage crops that yield way, way more than a grain crop will in hemp. So uh, we have to work on that. And how do you increase uh, dry matter yield in hemp? You have more stem. More stem's not good when it comes to animal feed. We want less stem, more grain. So we have to work this out. Uh, but we're very, very excited about it. I can't probably too late, but I'm going to say this anyway. The first time I presented this data, um, one of the audience members said, well, did it give them the munchies? Yeah. And I said, yes, it did. You have to feed Cheetos after you feed this. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we're working all that out. Okay, so uh, we're excited uh, to be part of the program. Uh, we were able to host the Senate Majority Leader uh, he visited the farm. There was no press there. Nobody took pictures. The TV, so he only came to learn about the industry in Kentucky. And we were very happy to participate in that. We're hopeful that'll move forward in the very near future. Uh, so our research field day is a month later than Western's. Uh, it'll be on the 11th of August at the Spindle Top Farm. Information about that will be on our website, the address of which is at the bottom here. And with that, I'll try to answer a question.